we're going to be making oxtails and I'm going to be doing it in the pressure cooker which is right over there and the, you don't see us do this a lot because the um, oxtails themselves are very expensive. I guess, uh, season the tops of the uh, oxtail and just simple salt, salt, pink salt, regular salt, and some chili powder. We will also be adding some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you want to say it, and some soy sauce. So fucking hot. All right, guys. So here I have our pressure cooker, and I have grapeseed oil, just regular grapeseed oil in there. And we are going to start adding our meat. Oh, that one kind of landed the wrong direction. And it's not going to want you to move it. It's going to try to keep you from moving it by sticking it. And you let it do that, and then you will turn it. when it's no longer stuck. So we're putting seasoning side down on these. And we are going to do the outside of the oxtails as well as the top and bottom. By the way, oxtails are not oxes. It's actually a cow tail. Just so you know that. And I am making enough for at least Two full meals is not two meals in one lunch. So, you know that, see this one just released, so I know I can turn it. See how it's starting, already it's turning brown here? And if you try to move it and it sticks, just leave it alone. Sorry if it's really noisy and I hope I'm not hollering too much. So we're going to sear this side, turn them over and sear the other side, and then we're going to sear all around the outside. So we'll be right back. Guys, while we have the meat searing, I have two small onions that I just did a cube dice on, three cloves of garlic that I've just done a rough chop on, and we have five small potatoes that I've just cut up into manageable uh, pieces. All of this is going to go on top of our oxtails so that it will all cook together. So I'll bring you back in just a moment. Alright guys, so this is our oxtails right here. As you can see, I've browned them very well on all sides. And now... We are going to be adding first our soy sauce, approximately one fourth of a cup. And we are also going to be adding one fourth of the Worcestershire sauce. And yeah, I'm not using a measure. You can eyeball it. So we have that in there now. We are also going to be adding a cup of water. Sorry, I know that was backwards on you looking at it. At least now you can hear me. One fourth cup of soy sauce, one fourth of a cup of Worcestershire sauce in with our meat. And now we're going to add the potatoes to this. And then we're going to add the onion. And the last thing that's going to go in, which you can see in the bowl, is some of our garlic, which we're going to just put around. Kind of put all this together. And then we're going to simply put our lid on and you follow your arrows on your cooker. Sorry. Oops, sorry guys, let me turn this around. Right here, as you can see, is an arrow. And here you can see there's an arrow. So we're just going to match the lid up. Try to at least. 
and put the two handles together. Now we need to bring, well we're still at medium high heat, so we're going to leave it there for a minute and then we're going to put our, as soon as this starts steaming, then we're going to put our weight on and this will cook for approximately 30 minutes and we're going to do a natural cool down instead of a forced one, meaning that you would smerge this into cold water to cool it down and to let it release. But we're not going to do that. We're going to let it do it all on its own. You'll see. So, now we have this ready and I'll bring you right back when I put the uh, weight on. Alright guys, so our safety lock has come up which means that you cannot open the slow cooker at this point. So we're now going to set the timer for 30 minutes and we'll be right back. Um, the pressure cooker has cooled off on its own. Our little safety valve is back down. It's not sputtering. So now we should be able to open it and you're going to do so with it away from you. You don't want to uh, get a steam burn. So even one handed you can see that I can open it, which I would not be able to do if the pressure was still in there. So carefully you see the steam come up. I should probably ask someone to help me. And he took the hint. Yeah, he took the hint at least. <laughs> Uh, up towards you, this part up towards you. So that's what I was talking about. Potholders, dude. Alright, use potholders and take it off away from you. I did, this is exactly that, and it still got me. <laughs> Anyways, so. <laughs> Alright guys, so now, here we are, it looks good. So let us plate this up yeah, and see good. what it looks like. Yeah, it does. So we'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is our oxtail uh, plated up. And I have two spoons to show you how tender this is at the pressure cooker. I and mean, you don't need a fork. It just shreds off of the bone. As you can see, and I'll take a little taste of it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Hot! <laughs> you can taste the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce, but it's not overpowering, it's not too salty at all. So this is the recipe. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. And just to show you, the potatoes are also just perfect. I poured some of the juice on top of them. So I think this is perfect. So with that, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Okay, you should wait until I probably stop chewing the hot food before you start the video. Anyways, and, um, <laughs> I've got that heating over there. So as soon as my pot is heated well, which is on a medium high heat, uh, to do the sear, we'll put these in seasoning down and then flip them over seasoning side down and then I have no freaking clue what I'm talking about so I'm just going to start this over.